Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guides, where we talk about monsters, moves, rune sets, partners, all that jazz. Today we are talking about Thyra, the 72 hour event challenge monster from May. Uh, so, Thyra is a really heavy hitter, and she is the creation of Dr. Victor. Uh, and fun fact, Dr. Victor is actually coming out for the calendar uh, as of next month, uh, which is, you know, it's the 31st today, so after today it's going to be the new calendar and dr victor's cells are going to be uh up for you know grabs during that course of that month uh thyra is like these are a few things about thyra one she's actually a girl a lot of think uh a lot of people think thyra is a dude she's actually a chick <laughs> uh second uh she's actually made up of a bunch of a whole bunch of different monsters like uh, dr victor made thyra by gathering a bunch of random cells he just Dad lying around, which is it sounds like a very disorganized uh, <laughs> thing to do if you're messing around with you know cells that can create you know monsters. You know that's yeah, <laughs> accidents could happen there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Doctor Victor, yeah, Doctor Victor created this monster, and she's made up of a bunch of different uh, monsters, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of people like to think uh, Vampiria and metalhead uh, as one of the uh one of the things i think dr victor is tossed in there too just simply because she shares the same uh you know tone of skin as dr victor it, it's a pretty obvious one I, I think that one's pretty obvious that she does have some dr victor cells uh in her blood uh, and all that jazz uh so hey, uh, <laughs> dr victor and count vlad has something in common both <laughs> both of their <laughs> yeah <laughs> Both of their kids, yeah, they, they both became rebel punks. <laughs> I just don't like each other. I don't like their dads. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Thyra is... Let's just get to the uh, stats and moves and determine whether or not she's a good attacker or what, what she actually does. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so power, 3,509. This is an exceptionally large power. Uh, it's really heavy. It's above the gospel power. This power is by no means uh, laughable. This is a really good power. <laughs> uh, really hard hitting. Uh, the more higher the runes they have, uh, the more damage you essentially do. And uh, yeah, that's that's enough said about that. It's a really high power. Uh, the higher runes, the higher chance of you are just one hitting things naturally without having to need to do double damage. The life is 29,556. Essentially, this I, I think this shares the same life with uh, General Uria, and or it could be the, it could either be the same uh, lower, or you know just yeah. Uh, but regardless, this is a really good life stat, and it makes you slightly harder to, uh, for it makes it slightly harder for Voltic to kill you, uh, or at least have concerns of killing you. If you build the extra guy build, that means Voltic might not be able to kill you. Uh, on the first round. Now, again, that determines what that Voltic is equipped with, of course. If it's equipped with, like, X runes and can do everything all day, then, that, yeah, you might not live through it, but... <laughs> Depends on uh, what's coming from what. Uh, but this life is really great. It also helps out with this life. It's also really great with one of her utility moves. Uh, essentially, it makes it, uh, which makes her immune to stun. Uh, that helps her deal with things like Dr. Victor, Tempest... Uh, and Nexor, who do AoE stunning. Uh, that's just a few examples. But, but, you know, you can spread out to other elements, but specifically, uh, that immune to stun is handy in terms of dealing with under th thunder monsters in her category. Uh, her speed is 3,476. Uh, people find this the most appealing about her. One, because it's a higher base stat than uh, Voltex, so if they're both essentially running the same speed runes, Thyra will essentially go first. Uh... And, you know, possibly one-hit Voltic because she has a move capable of doing that. Uh, of course, that totally depends on the room build of both monsters, of course. Uh, and depending on where you're, you know, where each person's at in the game. Uh, you know, all that jazz. Is the other, is the Voltic ranked up? Is your Thyra ranked up? You know, there's all those variables you have to consider and get into account. Now, I imagine people getting, like, up to rank 1 or 2 with this monster uh, after the 72-hour event challenge because you can do this, uh, essentially do this event uh, a total of 3 times. You know, round 3, you can get up to round 3. And uh, this monster wouldn't be bad to get up to rank 2. This is a really strong hitting monster. Now, to get to the least favorite part of this, it's her trait, immunity to poison. A lot of people don't like this. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, 
or even just tossing her out of the way just because she has this trait. Just that that's the sole reason is just because the trait is immune to poison. That's a lot of be uh, some people are actually not even considering this monster good just because of the trait. Now I think this trait is relevant in case of the event you're fighting against nature monsters. Uh, obviously at the moment this trait isn't too good. This isn't too good because it's gonna really pop out or it's gonna be, it's really situational what it is. Really this, you can only ever use this if you're fighting nature monsters, dark monsters capable of poisoning. So Doctor Hazard, Jabaline. Uh, there are other ones too, but I, those, those are the top two I can name at the moment. And, uh, yeah, just any Thunder Monsters that can poison in the future. Plus, Lurney, you know, Lurney, he's, since she has a, one of the immunities to one of the three, uh, effects that Lurney can apply, that's, that's relevant. Uh, but, you know, that's about it. Uh, no, personally, if it was immune, I don't know if, like, I, you know, personally, you know, honestly, this is a good, it gives their uh, immunity to a DOT damage, that's, that's alright. Uh, so if you build a life rune, that's just one of the concerns you don't have to worry about, uh, in terms of the other stacking of other DOTs, like, they can't, uh, DOT you, uh, with poison, you know, that's just, just the one thing. It also keeps her from doing reduced damage, uh, poison can reduce the damage by 20%, uh, so can bleeding, uh, I guess that's a really huge thing to do. I really wish this was a combination of poison and bleeding. That would be so cool. It would be really, really cool if that was a thing. If this was combined with poison and like a bleed immunity, that would be so cool. Uh, bleed is bleed immunity isn't even a thing yet, but I wish that that was his first. I wish this monster would get bleed immunity. You're the first one with immune to bleed. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I'd rarely ever be relevant because I don't know if that many, you know, monsters even cause AOE bleeding. But that would be really cool nonetheless. <laughs> That'd be a cool trait for her to have. Uh, now her ultimate, Thyra, is a punk monster. This deals massive thunder damage to all enemies, may burn all targets, may daze all targets. Uh, this is essentially a Dr. Victor. Uh, it's kind of nerfed because instead of blind, it's dazing. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's just the thing. It also, you know, provides burning. So she has a DOT ultimate. This is really good. And given the fact she has a high base power, this is going to be able to do a lot of damage. And essentially, you know, since she's causing the DOT too, uh, even Thunder Monsters that live through it, but namely Voltic, uh, odds are Voltic could live through this depending on, uh, your, of course it depends on the rune builds, of course, uh, if you're running two X runes, odds are that Voltic's dead, <laughs> odds are, uh, or nearly dead, and by the time he gets to move, he's gonna burn to death, <laughs> that's more than likely the case, uh, the point is, the, if you have really high damage runes on this monster, uh, the even if they're not very effective damage to it, uh, the it might best be enough just to wipe them out with the burning alone, or just like after a few turns they're done. It could be just like essentially a counter, or just equivalent to once you move, you you essentially might lose the rest of your life. Uh, so this is a really good ultimate. Uh, I think the only problem is it's thunder base. I think that's the only argument people will make ever ever make actually with this ultimate. I can't wait to see the you know the uh, the animation for this ultimate. I can't imagine it being really really cool. <laughs> Uh, I just like to just like to just say this because it's a cool, it's a neat move, but it's probably a move you'll probably never run. Uh, I want to be your punk. This essentially it's a twenty-five damage move. The damage isn't the thing you're literally looking at here. It's the fact it gives you immunity to blind and daze. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just mentioning this move because it's really unique. But it, it, odds are it's not really worth running. Uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to share with you that. Uh, that does this uh, is relevant in the case of, since in the case of the event uh, thunder monsters have the tendency to blind in days uh, I'd say this the trade-off really isn't worth it because it's only 25 damage uh, so you probably shouldn't be running this move I'm just I'm just letting you guys know that this is a thing if you're if you're into if not interested if you because the if you're not interested in running more than the three you know just like or like having a if you're like thinking like oh, I don't oh, what should I do for this fourth move I don't really know what I should do at this point you know, I'm just saying you could get an Im another immunity. You know, you could another get a another list of immunities. Uh, all the spark things deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies. Uh, this requires a cooldown of a single turn, 40 damage based, and it's 36 damage. Uh, so essentially, Thyra is actually I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys this. Thyra is essentially like Exoskill. She's essentially just a slightly uh, tankier, more speed. Exoscale, just naturally. If you if you level these both to 100, she'll have the better life and speed. Uh, uh, Exoscale uh, carries a little bit more punch uh, in terms of power, uh, but I think the main sell point for like between the two is Thyra is faster. She's slightly more durable, uh, 
and she carries a special base 50 damage AoE. In fact, their AoE damage is essentially the same, except the, you know, Thyra has a th special base, so she'll be doing more damage to universally everybody rather than uh, Exoskill uh, in terms of dealing with his Thunder kind as well. It, this is similar kind as well. Uh, that's the one of the hugest reasons why people don't like Exoskill all that much, because he can't instant spontaneously kill a thunder monster simply because his thunder based aoe is you know his aoe is 50 damage aoe is thunder based not special based i want to say I, i'm not too sure about i'm not too sure about that argument because i see a lot of people run full damage on exoskill anyway and just completely just tear down the field just like if you're running full damage exoskill you you do a lot of damage <laughs> double day if you have the double damage boost up and then you do the 50 damage aoe that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's that's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, uh, before I continue, too, I just want to say, uh, I just want to say, uh, screw Voltic. There we go. Enough, enough said. Screw, screw Voltic. Screw this guy right here. <laughs> I hate this guy <laughs> because uh, despite because it, I just want to say real quick, a lot of you guys should really people should really stop judging every like a lot of people think these thunder monsters are just like irrelevant and everyone should just get Voltic or Xyla just because of the extra turn thing. We really need to stop that. <laughs> we really need to, uh, we really need to stop, you know, joshing or whatever. Uh, just because everybody's not like this monster, just because they don't break the game. In fact, everybody, every single person, I, I can't imagine a lot of, I can't imagine people just wanting every single thunder monster just to break the game. That's essentially what they, they're judging every single monster by, or just like, in terms of how broken it is. In terms of how it breaks the game. They want every single thunder monster to be like Voltic, the, just to, that breaks the game, that full stamina ruins, go all YOLO. That would really make the game not fun. There's a lot of diverse thunder monsters, and I think you guys should really give all of them a chance. <laughs> you really should. <laughs> uh, there's Monster Divas, gives... Uh, you know, AoE immunities, uh, stamina drain, uh, really good Voltic counter, you know. You know, if you've ever fight a Voltic on defense, bring this thing in. On Zari, you, you may very well win. <laughs> uh, General Rulia is really good, just a really balanced monster. A lot of people just really rip on him, he's not all that bad. Uh, RFL is really good. <laughs> you can do some really good trolley things with them. Dr. Victor is really good. AoE stun and uh, essentially he's Thunder, thunder Egg here. <laughs> uh, except he doesn't have an AoE possession. It's an AoE stun. That's essentially what Dr. Victor is. <laughs> and he's not bad at all. It was, uh, it, everyone trashes every single Thunder monster because it's not Voltic. <laughs> or Xyla. Or just Xyla. These are the only two monsters. Xyla is spared just because it's just pretty much an upgraded uh, Voltic. <laughs> essentially. Uh, yeah, but uh, Tempest, Tempest is really good, AoE Stun, AoE Blind, Mercurius, uh, not the non-broken version of Ultic, <laughs> the fair version where he doesn't take several eons to get done moving, uh, he's also immune to Stun too, so he's, he's naturally immune to a Deny, uh, next door AoE Stun, damage, you know, you can do a bunch of damage reduction and or just whatever you want him to do, uh, or he's bet a lot of damage, Yindra, yeah, okay, Yindra, okay, okay, that, that one, that can go, that can go in the toilet, <laughs> that one can go in the toilet, he's, he's been, he's been hit with a nerf hammer too hard, <laughs> uh, Dr. Tilla's really amazing now, AoE, uh, you know, freeze, all that jazz, uh, now we're getting back to the, the guide, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, sorry I took that bit of time just, to, just to give that short speech, but, you know, give, give every thunder monster a try, <laughs> Uh, complete control deals heavy thunder damage, gives immunity to stun to itself, uh, requires a cooldown of two turns, 55 damage move single target, and 31 stamina. Uh, you can relate this to one of his own, like, you know, Exoskill actually has a stun skill that's also on a two turn cooldown that's also 55 damage. Uh, 30, I think it was like 31 or 32 stamina, or 33, it could be 33 too, I can't remember, but it's special based. Essentially, she has a lot of similar damaging skills, uh, you know, similar skills to Exoskill, similarly, uh, except this one actually gives her immunity to stun, so she herself can't be stunned, which is really neat. Uh, I don't know if this gives immunity to, you know, uh, Mega Stun, it doesn't say other, so I'm assuming not. I wish that was the case. So this is relevant when you're fighting Tempest. Uh, if you have a Demise up on you, you can use the, the single target, uh, this single target move, kill the non-thunder monster, and you become immune to uh, Tempest's stun if he stuns. Or Dr. Victor if he chooses the stuns. 
Live fast, die young. Deals moderate special damage, gains damage boost, requires a cooldown of a single turn, 30 damage, uh, and 27 stamina. I'm questioning why this is even a skill grips to a move. <laughs> I'm really questioning that right now. I got the damage is the damage is just so poor. <laughs> why does this move exist? Why is it in skill grips too? There's a lot of whys at the moment. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is there a why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Uh, so, in all honesty, you probably shouldn't run this move, uh, solely based on the fact it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, the, the initial damage is just too terrible to run, uh, you run it, it's just too terrible. <laughs> That's all that has to be said. Uh, this can clear you, uh, of damage reduction if you're currently under damage reduction, but in all honesty, just leave that to your supports. Blitzkrieg Spark. Uh, now we're getting to really, really good part of her kit. Uh, deals heavy special damage to all enemies, requires a cooldown of 3 turns, 36 stamina, and it does 50 damage, and it's special based. Uh, this is universally really great. Uh, this is uh, this move is basically, if you didn't like the, you know, thunder based of AoE of Exoskill, this is basically your, this is basically your, your, you know, your ultimate, I don't know if it's like ultimatum or like your, I don't know the right word for it. But, uh, you know, you're, you're more, more favored, favored, or, like, your favorite food, or, like, your, you know, your, uh, I, I can't even think of a fancy food name. <laughs> your, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but Blitzkrieg, uh, Spark, uh, universally is really great, because it's special based. As far as I'm concerned, uh, people are saying it's one of the better special based AoEs in the game. You know, that's, you know, that's, it might actually be naturally true. She might be the first monster that has... A special based AOE that's a basic uh, AOE, you know, that does 50 damage. <laughs> it does a lot of special based damage. Uh, I say, like, a huge thing, though, it doesn't cause a, a you know, effect. Uh, the new Earth Monster can actually do a AOE special blaze. I don't know if it was a bleed or quicksand, but, you know, it, it does, a, it does a, a effect, too. But this is not, nonetheless, this is a really good uh, AoE. Essentially, this can get rid of Voltic if you're under double damage. If you're under double damage with, you know, even if you're running level 5 strength, then you're gonna, you're gonna destroy Voltic. <laughs> that's just gonna what happened. That's just, that's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, this does a lot of damage. I really like the, overall, I really like this AoE. This is what uh, really makes her uh, spark, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> really, uh, really is electric. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. <laughs> uh, Psycho Slayer deals he very heavy special damage. Uh, personally, I wouldn't mind if this uh, skill was named to Voltic Slayer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you, you would agree if you know if you dealt with Voltic before. You, you would know. <laughs> Psycho Slayer, Voltic Slayer. I wouldn't mind that name change to that. <laughs> Uh, it does 65 damage. It's a single base, you know, one turn cooldown, 28 stamina. Essentially, this is pretty much a general Uria skill. <laughs> uh, and it's really awesome. Uh, I think it's like, uh, yeah, it's exactly like that. <laughs> Uria has one of these too. Uh, I think it's like a, I don't know if it was like a two turn, uh, cooldown, but, you know, this is, again, uh, translation, better. <laughs> it's better cooldown. Uh, this is almost spammable. And it's a lot of damage, and it's low low stamina cost. And you gotta keep in mind they also uh, increase stamina regen. So if you had if you were ever like stamina drained and you had stamina recovery up, you know stamina regen up, you can use this move freely and do a lot of damage to a single target and wipe them out easily. Or any pretty much anything that's not running a life rune is gonna take a lot of damage from this. <laughs> uh, of course, that depends on your rune build. That, that, that totally depends on uh, the level of rune you're using. Uh, if, you're run, if you're for sure running level 10 runes, you're going to kill something. <laughs> something dies. Something that's not running life rune dies. Essentially, the Nier, for the most part. The Nier, non-life rune attacker. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you, you should be running the skill. It's, it's her main damage. Anarchy and ML. Gives double damage to a self-may burn target. Uh, this is a, a self-buff, double damage, and it burns yourself. Uh, this is pretty good in the case of the event you get possessed. You essentially use this move in, the, in any case of the event you're possessed. You use this move, you know, and then you get yourself set up for double damage. Uh, now, the hugest concern people are having with this is the fact it sets yourself on fire. I like to point out the fact you can get you can make yourself immune to burn. You can... You can pair up her with stuff that can give burn immunity. 
uh, such as Sarah, uh, Monster Device, uh, Monster Device, you know, is like, you probably like, ah, oh, but that, I don't know if that's too good, you know, Monster Device is another Thunder Monster. In the case of the event, you can bring another, you know, if, in case of the event, you can bring them, that's an option for you. You can make people, Im you can get, find ways to get around, I'm saying you can find ways to get around this DOT, it's not the biggest concern in the world. And another thing too, you could always just deny again. You could find another denier, uh, especially if they're uh, if if you get rid of the, uh, you know, their denier. If, just if you're using like something like demise, you know, you get rid of their denier. Like you get rid of the the problem childs, and then you can go on from there. You can do your own thing. Uh, essentially, you just that's that's when you ever use this move is when you're possessed. Uh, this could be a good defensive skill. It could not be a good defensive skill. It depends on the situation. Uh, if you have AoE life regen, essentially that just removes the concern. In fact, you just get five percent back. That just means it just takes away the twenty. It takes uh, minus you know twenty percent. You just essentially get five percent of your health back. So AoE life regens fix this. This isn't too much of a concern. You should be running the skill because it's a you know self double damage buff. Uh, double damage is one of the strongest buffs in the game simply because you do double your damage and it's really effective with your d uh, damage deal. So the move set I'm gonna recommend you Blitzkrieg Spark, uh, special based AOE, really high hitting uh, damage. Why not? This is a really good skill. Uh, it's one of her best skills, and it just works well with double damage. Psycho Slayer. Uh, it's a really heavy hitting uh, move that essentially does well against everything, especially the Thunder Monster. You should be running this move. Uh, there's just no argument about it. It just does a great amount of damage. It's one of her heavy hitting single target moves that she has. Uh, you should you could possibly you should be possibly running anarchy and ml gives you pretty much immunity to possession for the most part for like a one time dealio uh, you can remove the burning the burning's not an issue uh, you can use life regen then it's no longer an issue uh, for the most part uh, and then you should be running complete control it gives you stun immunity <laughs> you might not you know honestly you might never have the need to use this move uh, you may use it really, but uh, just keep it on you in the case of the event. Uh, you just need to be immune to stun at that point. You need you need it, like you just in case of the event you need it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's essentially it. Uh, you could run uh, all the sparks and things. This is pretty much anti timeuron I want to point that out. It's pretty much anti timeuron I do love, I do love the fact you can run uh, like uh, you can run two, you know, pretty much two AOEs like that are on a low cooldown. I love monsters such as Will Razor Face and in terms of uh, you know AOE damage, Will Razor Face and Uriel because they run on so low, low cooldown uh, AOEs. Uh, Uriel especially with a one turn cooldown AOE and a two turn cooldown AOE. <laughs> uh, essentially, that's really fun. You could also run all Spark, uh, Control, Blitzkrieg, uh, Spark. Uh, Psycho Slayer and or complete the control if you don't like running Anarchy and ML that's another build path for runes I highly recommend either two damage and a speed or like the extra guy build uh, this gives the extra guy get build since she has all around good base stats she can take advantage of the extra guy build that's perfectly fine uh, she can be uh, slightly you know tankier uh, hitter I wouldn't recommend if you're I was, if you're going for the extra guy build, you probably shouldn't run the DOT unless you do have life regen on you. Uh, it's not safe otherwise because you know the DOTs. You know, usually the more health you have, the more DOT damage you essentially take because it only takes a like, percentage of your maximum health. I guess that's a, that can be said regardless of whatever whatever can be said about your uh, you know your thing. You know, it always takes a percentage of your maximum health. Uh, you know, situationally, that can, you know, if you ever used or if you ever fought an Oros, you piled a bunch of DOT on them, the DOT itself kills it. Because, <laughs> it all, again, it, it takes percentages of your health away. Ten, like 30% of your max, you know, just all that, if, if they keep stacking. Uh, but, you know, you can, the uh, extra guy build makes her universally tanky. It makes Voltic harder to, uh, you know, makes Voltic uh, have harder time killing Thyra uh, just because of her naturally high life. Uh, I'm gonna say the better that life room, the better you know she, the better odds of her surviving stuff is. Uh, her natural power is really great, uh, so she can get away without running two. But she wants, she's not gonna one hit anything. Uh, more odds are. Uh, but if you do run two strength runes, uh, you will, you'll for sure hit something. I will say if you if you're running an X rune, then you will probably one hit something. Uh, but yeah, for at the moment, like yeah, if you're running two, if you're like little runes and stuff like that, you should be running. Two strength runes, uh, 
and then you know a speed too. Uh, yeah, that's all that needs to be said about that. If you're not too fond of speed runes, you could also run, you know, the, instead of that speed rune, you could run either like a like you know a life rune or something like that. If you don't, if you've never enjoyed running it, you know, speed on your attacker, you can build a life on it. Two two strengths and a life. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for runes. <laughs> uh, partners, real quick, you can essentially pair up with quite a few things. Uh, totems, are, totems, are good. totem universally works with any attacker in the game. It's going to work really nice with uh, Thyra because essentially uh, totem can reduce the damage uh, of all the monsters on the enemy team. And if you're building extra guy Thyra, you're just going to take less damage and you're able to do your stuff more. Uh, thing to watch out for though, you. you you can possibly deny so depending on what your denier is of course if you have like something like Kalek or monster device that could give immunities and all that jazz you don't have to worry about that anymore uh, with all that said that is pretty much it for Thyra overall I really like this monster I, I'm really I really like this is one of my favorite one of my favorite monster designs in the entire game just a really cool looking monster really awesome backstory I'm really happy I got this thing <laughs> uh, uh, a few closing notes, though. Uh, essentially, she is exactly like Exoskill. Essentially, <laughs> essentially, she functions exactly like Exoskill. The uh, like, you know, just the she's just the Exoskill. People will probably enjoy more simply because a it's not immune to days. Uh, pay, I mean, a lot of people hate immune to days. <laughs> I think it's great for attackers. Uh, uh, the second reason is like his his AOE's are special based. Uh, he's not that. He's not too fast. He's running at three thousand three hundred seventy-seven, I think, speed. Not the fastest attacker in the game. Uh, but man, he still hits hard. <laughs> Extra skill still hits hard. But essentially, again, both. They're both hit hard. Uh, this one is just the people will enjoy more. I enjoy this one more. <laughs> I like. I like the design. I like the best story of this monster. I like it. I, I like this monster. This one's just really cool. Two thumbs up. No, 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 not two thumbs up. Let's give it all the thumbs up in the world. Let's get. Let's hit all of the likes. All the likes on this monster. This monster is really cool. Well designed. Good job, Silver Point. Good job. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.